infection this lump from the lateral aspect of the orbit these are the images now you can see that on the CT scan uh, there is a well circumscribed a slightly low attenuation mass along the lateral orbit and uh, with the here you can see that this is the mass a low attenuating mass along the lateral orbit with smooth remodeling it is causing smooth remodeling and scalloping of the adjacent orbital wall okay so it is causing scalloping of the adjacent orbital wall here on the coronal fat set t2 and uh, this is the coronal fat set t2 and this is the post contrast t1 weighted mri and you can see that there is a well defined t2 hyper intense mass this is hyper intense on t2 and uh, this is non enhancing mass the post contrast sequence we can see there's no enhancement within this mass however there's a thin enhancing rim around this mass this is the enhancing rim around this mass no enhancement within the mass and uh, so basically this is a non enhancing mass with a thin, thin enhancing rim so this is a typical case of all dermoid and uh, the differentials you can put lipoma and epidermoid in it Next is six month old uh, patient presenting with a deformed head, and uh, these are the images. Uh, as you can see uh, here, that this is an abnormally elongated skull, uh, giving the scaphocephaly appearance with increased anterior skull compared to its uh, transverse diameter. Okay, so the anterior posterior diameter is large, it's increased. It's increased anterior posterior diameter of the skull compared to the transverse diameter. And, uh, on the surface rendered images of the skull, you can see that there is a, a fusion of the sagittal here. You can see that there is fusion of the uh, sagittal suture with slight uh, ectocranial ridging along the pores where the suture was located. Okay, so this is that ectocranial ridging, ectocranial ridging along the pores where the suture was located. This is a typical case of sagittal uh, craniosynostrosis. And in the differentials, you can uh, put uh, plagiocephaly, positional or postural, and secondary craniosynostrosis, a rest of brain growth. Next case, 33-year-old woman uh, presenting with nasal stuffiness. And this is the only image uh, provided here. Now, as you can see, uh, that uh, this is a CT scan, a coronal section, and it's showing the lobular mass, which is spanning the right maxillary sinus and lateral nasal cavity and there is almost complete this complication of the right sinus also there is remodeling of the uh, unsnate process and uh, ethmoid bulla with widening of the infundibulum so it is causing the widening of the infundibulum now in the mri sequences we can see that uh, the mass is enhancing that this is an enhancing mass and it is largely, it is hypo-intense on weighted MRI, and it has a subtly lamellated, lamellated internal architecture, and and much of the maxillary sinus opacification is actually the trapped fluid. So this is the trapped fluid here. This is the trapped fluid. This is that typical lamellated appearance that we are talking about. So this is a case of inverted papilloma. In the differentials, uh, you can add antrophonal polyp, basal polyposis, leukocele, and malignant neoplasm like squamous cell carcinoma or slime neoplasms. 